Did you all have a memorable summer vacation? I had a beautiful time in Egypt. Oh, the people were very kind to me. They were probably able to sense my deep appreciation and love for their history. I even found some things with my dowsing rod. The citizens were very glad indeed. Time sure flies when you're having fun. I'm sure your summer break was short for all of you as well. However, don't you think that there are some things in life that are best ended quickly? War is one of them. So, here is a question. Miss Chie. No, you. How short was history's shortest war? Good job, you. I'm impressed you knew. Yes, the shortest war in history lasted only 40 minutes. It was the Anglo-Zanzibar War, which began with an already staggering difference in military resources. Mind you, this lecture will be longer than the actual war we're going to talk about. There's so much to learn. This is what I've been saving the red goldfish for. Y you You're the one who tried to feed me to that cat! Oh, I'm sorry. I just can't stay calm when it comes to those damn cats. I have an idea. Do you know what cats like to eat? If I can sneak up and slowly touch them while they're chowing down on food, I'd be in control, right? B but to tell you the truth, I'm also scared of fish. You know, those creepy eyes, all muddied, looking this way, and those scales. Uh, is there some kind of cute fish? The man wants a cute fish. Maybe he'll think a red goldfish is cute. Show him a red goldfish. What is that? It's so cute. Give that to me. I'll use it to ambush that cat. The man stole your red goldfish. The man ran off. No. How can I help you? Did you see someone suspicious? You told him that Nauto hasn't been coming to school lately and that you're worried. That kid is skipping school to do his investigation? What's his problem, really? The department has all but closed the case just because he's not satisfied. Sheesh. All we want to do is shut the book on this thing so we don't have to deal with it anymore. I wish he'd let it go already. No wonder the whole department treats him like a kid. He's getting all worked up over nothing. That's why everyone gives him the cold shoulder, you know. You learned something about Naoto. You should put together the information you gathered. With regard to this investigation, you've discovered that Naoto has an obsession with the case. What did the police think of Naoto? They consider him a child. It seems that Naoto has had a fervid obsession with the investigation. But it seems that his obsession was not well received and the police treated him like a child. You think you understand now to a bit more. You should report to Rise. Right. So let's go in. Oh, well, everyone's here. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Any clues? Tell me quick. I'll find him in a jiffy. Did you find out more about Naoto kun? You told Risei about Naoto being treated like a child, and you explained Naoto's abnormal obsession to solve the I case. See. So he's being stubborn about the case. 
But it seems like it's rare for Naoto-kun to get so worked up over something. Okay, I've got a good feel for him. I think I can do this. It won't take long for me to find him with my persona, so be ready to follow me once I do. Yeah, she's like a, a hunting dog. She gets the smell and then she darts. What is this place? It's all sci-fi. Hey, doesn't it remind you of those secret hideouts in live action shows? Oh yeah. <laughs> I used to watch Featherman all the time when I was a kid. I hear that those are really tough shoots. A lot of the actors do their own stunts, like jumping through fire themselves. Well, it's every man's dream to do that stuff. Yeah, I can understand that. They're action-based, like kung fu movies. And just the phrase secret hideout has this exciting ring to it. Actually, when I was a kid, I had my own secret place near the mountain by Yukiko's house. I'd pretend that a legendary kung fu master was teaching me special techniques. What the? You got it all wrong. But hey, so this secret hideout thing, it came from Naoto's mind? I guess our proper boy detective isn't as grown up as he looks. All right, let's get going. You've pinpointed Naoto's location. All that's left is to save him. You should repair yourself for the upcoming rescue mission. Unknown intruder detected inside facility. Threat level, yellow. Deploying guards inside the facility. Warning, warning. Attention intruders, leave the facility immediately. I repeat, leave the facility immediately. Huh? Intruders? That means us, right? Warning, warning. Attention intruders, leave the facility immediately. I repeat, leave the facility immediately. Does this mean... Naoto-kun doesn't want our help? I, I don't really get it, but let's go on for now. Warning! Warning! Attention intruders! Leave the facility immediately! I repeat, leave the facility immediately! Hey, Senpai, when Naoto-kun appeared on the Midnight Channel, he said he was going to undergo a body alteration operation. Did that mean Naoto-kun's going to be altered here? Crap! We need to hurry! Welcome to the Velvet Room. This Yatsufusa has many Arama. You have successfully completed the request. I can feel your heart. Words can express nothing. The only way to convey meaning is through the communication between hearts. You, Narukami, and Margaret. What do those names have in common? Oh no, there's nothing in common. I was testing your generosity. Good job. You passed the test. Margaret seems a little embarrassed. Well, she should be. You became a little more intimate with Margaret. Well then, for my next request... What I'd like is a Ganesha with the Tetracarn ability. If anyone can do this for me, it's you. I eagerly await your return. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Your Ganesha knows Tetracarn. You've successfully completed the request. Hm, what a long nose. By the way, have you heard this song about a long nose? What happens in the Velvet Room, nobody knows, but the Master has a very long nose. <laughs> How nostalgic. I used to sing this song with that girl. How I miss those days. Margaret is smiling, her eyes narrowed. You became a little more intimate, intimate with Margaret. Well then... For my next request, bring me a trumpeter with the mind charge skill. If anyone can do this for me, it's you. 
I eagerly await your return. Unknown intruders have arrived at B4F. Threat level, orange. Major facility areas locked. Eliminate the intruders. I think eventually we'll come to a door that's locked. Yeah, this the research area is beyond this point. Entry is forbidden to ordinary combatants. Please present your ID. We go up to B6 and get the ID there. Intruders will be eliminated. I repeat, intruders will be eliminated. Unknown intruders have arrived at B6F. Eliminate the intruders. So, somewhere around here, there is a chest with a card in it. Research card. Now we go back to B4. Back on B4. Careful! I sense a strong presence beyond this door! Intruder detected within the research area. Elimination proceeding. Are you singling her out? Someone else's turn. Come on! Take Yikes, it's tough. It's over. I couldn't do it. Soda. Oh, why did they do that? Oh well. Someone else's turn. Reese pretty much restores all our SP after every battle. As long as we don't use too much. Hold on. 
I might be thinking of a different enemy, but maybe it explodes if you take too long or something? I don't know. I know the dice also do that. Card. Now back to B6. Beyond this point is confidential. Entry is forbidden for ordinary combatants and researchers. Please present your ID. And if you try the research card, it doesn't work. Unknown intruders have entered Classified Sector 2. Threat level, red. Deploying increased guards within the facility. The intruders must be eliminated. Man, it's seriously rejecting us. We'll just have to get ourselves fired up and bust on through. Stop the intruders. Stop the intruders. Okay, I can sense Naoto-kun nearby. Just a little more to go. Hang in there. Welcome to the Velvet Room. A trumpeter with mind charge. You have successfully completed the request. That was my last request. Congratulations. You've been through many challenges and I hope you grasp their meaning. You see, the results never mattered. I wanted to see you yourself struggle and complete the requests. You approached each challenge thoughtfully and in doing so you trained your soul. As I predicted, you've shown me that your soul is strong. It's been wonderful. For the first time in ages, I became very excited. But remember, one soul is fragile. The purer it is, the stronger it gets, but it can easily be led astray. It can take so little as a handful of senseless words, such as a lie or a rumor. Please remember that. Now, I have to give you something as a reward. Here. I want you to have this. Obtain Spiral Brooch. It's only an object, but at the same time, it's an expression of myself. I'm sure you'd know since you've struggled so much for me, right? Ah! There's nothing more of your heart that I need to see. I understand you quite well now, so thank you. As I thought, you're the person I had been waiting for. When the time comes, it is you who will provide my answer. <laughs> I look forward to it. And then talk to her, and she'll give you the costume, and I'll wear that later. Here we go. I'll explain my opinion on the Nauto thing after we're done with this boss. So, the next day. Something's behind that door! Nauto! Ah, oh, it's about time you arrived. Dealing with this child has been quite a pain. It's useless speaking with you. I need to go back now. Why? Why are you leaving me here? Why am I always left alone? It's so lonely. I don't want to be alone. Nautokun. You wear the same face as me. It's as if you're implying we're one and the same. But the difference between me and you is... Why delude yourself? I am you! 
These childish gestures are no mere affectation. They're the truth. The fools all say it, don't they? You're only a child. Keep out of our business, kid, and so forth. No matter how many cases you spend hours cogitating over, no matter how many crimes you solve, you're a child in their eyes. It's your brain they're interested in. The gray matter locked up in that skull. As long as they need it, you're an ace, detective. But once you're done, it's back to the playpen with you. You haven't the means to deal with society's two-faced nature. You're just a lonely child. Naoto. I want to be a grown-up. I want to be a big boy right now. Then they'll see who I am. I... I want a reason for me to stay. That's enough. I can find my own reason for living. Ha! <laughs> I'm telling you that's impossible. You are but a child. How can you change that essential truth? Stop it! At your core, you admire the sort of strong and cool men who populate detective fiction. But in trying to emulate them, you must know that in truth, you're nothing of the sort. You're a child. There's no avoiding first principles. Admit that you're a child, and admit that there's nothing you can do about it! Now then, our analysis is complete. Let us begin the body alteration procedure! You have no objections, do you, Naoto Shiragane? Stop it! Naoto. Such a cool, manly name. But a name doesn't change the truth. It doesn't let you cross the barrier between the sexes. How could you become an ideal man when you were never male to begin with? Wait, what? Did he... Did I hear that right? He's not a guy? I won't throw a tantrum. That accomplishes nothing. <laughs> How often I've heard those words from the adults. Throwing a tantrum won't solve anything, now, Tokun, and other such bilge. They made you cry, didn't they? Yet here you are, mimicking those same men. What exactly are you trying to justify? What? It's all right. You needn't suffer anymore. That's why you're undergoing this body alteration procedure to begin with. You throw a tantrum, but it fails to change the situation a single bit. I can quite understand the feeling. After all, I am you. That's not true! Don't say it! It's okay. Let the kids spill the whole thing. If not, Naoto's just gonna keep hurting. We'll just do our job and kick the Shadow's ass, yeah? <laughs> As if you know anything about me. You'll kick my ass, huh? Fine. Go ahead and try, you lizard-brained imbecile. Save the discussion for later. Here it comes. I am a shadow, the true self. What? Are you sick of yourselves too? Very well. Then let's begin the special operation. No dialogue because I don't have Kanji or Teddy in my party. You know, Naoto got off pretty easy. This is an extremely normal looking shadow. This is also my favorite voice for Naoto, Anna Graves. Um, I think she did the best job out of all the English voice actors. No!
Had to use so many mouthwashes in this dungeon. I'm also a little over leveled, but it's not my fault. I just kept run running into rare hands. I don't understand why. Like, it's not even raining. This is a pretty easy boss. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> Patience must lie still for me to drill proper holes into them. Why are you picking on Chie? Quick, someone heal her. Why don't you do it? Why won't you lie down and die? You children can't do anything at all!
Come on. Yeah. Oh, you are not gonna like this. <laughs> Here, the last thing you'll ever do, Yosuke. Hope you enjoyed it. That's a fine level for you to end that. So now Taokun was a girl. <sighs> Are you awake? Where am I? I remember you all arriving and... That's right. You saw everything. I lost both my parents in an accident. I was still young, so my grandfather took me in. I was inept at making friends, so I spent my time reading detective novels in my grandfather's study. When I grow up, I'm gonna be an awesome hard-boiled detective. My parents were proud of their job. I had no qualms about following in their footsteps. An inherited occupation can feel stifling to many, but I welcomed it. I yearned for the day I could be a detective myself. Perhaps I inherited that desire from them as well. I was always alone. Seeing that, my grandfather must have believed it was his duty to help me realize my dream. I secretly aided my grandfather with his clients, and before I knew it, people started calling me Junior Detective. At first, I was delighted, but not everything went so smoothly. What was that you said about you're only a child? Not everyone welcomes my collaboration when it comes to solving cases. My status as a child was sufficient to offend many of those whom I worked with. Were that the only issue, then it would have resolved itself with time. But though I will one day change from a child to an adult, I will never change from a woman to a man. Do you not like being a girl? Is that why you always dress like a boy? My sex doesn't fit my ideal image of a detective. Besides, the police department is a male-oriented society. If they had the slightest concrete reason to look down on me, no one would need me anymore. You don't know that. Hey. You must know already that what you yearn for isn't to become an adult or become a boy. <sighs> You're absolutely right. I'm sorry. I kept ignoring you, pretending you didn't exist. But you are me. And I am you. You've always been inside me. What I should yearn for, no. What I must strive for isn't to become a man. It's to accept myself for who I really am. The strength of heart required to face oneself but made manifest. <laughs> it's so small. <laughs> Naoto has faced her other self. She has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships, the persona Sukuna Hikona. In any event, you're a devious bunch. I can't believe you kept something like this hidden for so long. <laughs> no wonder the perpetrator has eluded the police. But it's apparent now, this case is far from over. That's right. 
And you proved it now, Dal. Anyways, we can talk more later. We need to get you out of here. Hey! Hey! Naoto is breathing heavily. Sheesh, she really put her life on the line for this. But without her efforts, we'd never have realized that the culprit is still at large. You're too freaking reckless, damn it. I never doubted that you'd all come for me. Although the reality turned out to be far beyond what I'd imagined. <laughs> what a dumbass. You're no genius at all. We were tearing our hair out over you. So you did worry about her, Kanji. Oh. Shut up. Mind your own damn business. I'll take her home. I don't think she can go back by herself. It's all right. I can... No way, Missy! Don't think that doing everything on your own is the adult thing to do. Come on, let's go! Grab on! You were able to rescue Naoto safely, and it seems the case is not over yet. Hey! Welcome back! Uh, sorry, we got off early today. Come on, take a seat. They found Naoto-kun. Oh, uh, do you know who Naoto-kun is? He just up and vanished without a word. But it looks like he's back now. Way to put a scare into everyone. Heesh! I am so relieved. I did not know this. Hmm, you don't seem surprised. You didn't already know he was found, did you? Ah, uh, you really ought to do something about that habit of yours, Dojima-san. They go to the same school. Rumors spread fast out here, you know? But man, why'd Naoto-kun disappear? I guess he can be a little difficult. Maybe he got sulky after being given the boot and ran away from home. But I tell ya... I was shocked to hear that he up and vanished like that. If there'd been a fourth kidnapping and murder, we'd be back to square one again. Adachi... You know what sucks? We still don't have proof that the Kubo Kid murdered anyone besides Mr. Moraoka. How are we gonna make a case like this? I wonder if Dojima-san's instinct is right. Maybe there really is another perp out there. The real one. Adachi, how many times I gotta say it? Quit running your mouth like that! Well... Sorry. All right, see here. Don't worry about the case. Just go study like a normal student. If you don't... <sighs> I'm going to bed. Sorry. I killed the mood there. But yeah, I can totally understand why Dojima-san's worried. Just leave the case to us police. You know the problems it could cause if something happened, right? Like, if it happened you were mixed up in it. We'd be real worried. Are more scary things gonna happen? No way, Nanako-chan. Everything's alright now. We caught the bad man. So no more scary things will happen, right? Everything's just fine. Okay. Anyways, your dad's just a worry ward. Leave it to me. You might not know to look at me, but I got the most brains in the whole police department. Oh, was that too hard to understand? Did you get it? Well, now that Dojima-san's gone, I should get going too. Good night. Adachi went back home. mean? Huh. So things will be alright? Nanako has fallen silent. The night passes with the awkward mood hanging in the air. <laughs> 